ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DC Universe Online. Guess what? Guess what? I am on the test server. That's right. You see my test partner here, Earth Ember. I was going to do Earth Powers, but I'm like, you know what? I'm fire. I rather do fire. So I decided to do fire. Isn't fire nice? Ha! Fire fun! I'm sorry. I like fire. Make it burn. Anyways. Uh, also, first off, big shout out to Straight A uh, to Straight. I'm gonna always mess up his name. Straight Basement Production for help for creating these awesome intros that I have in every video that I do from now on. He would just be recognized at the beginning of the show and also at the end because he is that damn boss. Now, the reason why I am here is I'm here to test out the new DLC4 slash Update 14 content. They haven't really up released the notes on what is actually in here, what's in there. So, I'm going to try and go over as much as I can. Uh, I'll probably have more stuff, more time to record uh, information and everything uh, during the weekend. So, I'm just trying to first get the new shield weapon out. Uh, this is actually, gl I'm glad of this because I'm actually going to be doing an expose on each a video on each of the weapons instead of just doing one gigantic video on the weapons. Well, actually, you know, I'm going to let you guys decide that. On the comments below, would you guys like to see me do a video on each specific weapon talking about the strengths and weaknesses, or would you let, rather have me do just one gigantic video of all the weapons talking about them? Leave your comments in the section be in the below, because I really want to know that, because that will determine whether or not I do a video for each individual weapon. But let's go ahead and go over the shield. Look at it. That's the simple shield, all right? That's the basic shield. Let's go ahead and go over our style. I'm going to scroll down here to our primary weapon. Now I got the fleur de lis. The fleur de lis is this. Nice little crest uh, crest shield right there. It looks like it's the uh, pretty much just the PvP shield. That's the style for it. Now I am wearing my tier 3 armor that I got for free. And uh, you also get your tier 3 PvP armor for free as well. It, this is only for testing purposes. Anything on the on the test server does not reflect live. They actually just recently released an update. Uh, actually a hotfix for the test server where apparently the replay badges were being affected on the live server when used on the test server. That is no longer the case now. Whether or not people will be reimbursed for those, I'm not really sure. That's something I can't answer, really. So, let's go on and talk about the shield weapon. So, this shield weapon that I have a, I have here, we're going to go take a look here. That's right, I started off with like 90 skill points. That was badass. And this is what the shield, what stuff's going to look like now. Nice and a little smaller. Here's our shields. Let's talk about the innates first. The, uh, I've actually specced myself as a tank because I was good because this is PvP. And I'm going in PvP as a tank, um, so uh, I do. I'm going to go into the tier three duo as a DPS. But just so you know, this is a tank spec that I have here. But I also went ahead and went full into shield because I want this weapon badly. So let's talk about the innates first off. We have cunning permanently increases statistics boost. Critical power chance by 1% and stealth by point uh, by 0.1 per point. We also have restoration, boost restoration by 15 per point, and then health 15 per point, and then precision by 10 per point. So this is basically, in my eyes, a healer weapon tree that healers can go in there. Tanks can go in here as well for the health if they need it. Um, so let's also take a look at the weapons. I'm just going to talk about the innate real fast. Uh, while when you pro uh, go into this shield profi proficiency, you'll be getting plus 1% critical heal chance. Next, you'll get plus 3 dominance, plus 15 health, and then plus 4 vitalization. So, again, it feels like it's going to be a mixture of tanks can spec in here and healers can spec into here. So let's check this out. So let's go with the spinning backhand, which is the whole melee. Uh, well, first off, let's talk about the range stuff because range is a lot quicker. All right, so range, we have this nasty thing. 
Now, I've actually just noticed that I still have my healer, my uh, actual gloves. It used to be where the gloves were part of the weapon, and people were a little upset about that. I'm actually looking here at my tier 3 gloves. They are still the same, not changed really much with the weapon. I'm trying to get a nice little glance at the bottom here. And so, just wait for it. Yeah, so it looks, it looks to be okay. So you're only going to change your weapon. Your gloves look like they're still going to be the same. But again, this is a test server. And with test servers, this should be treated as a beta. All right? So, all right. I can't get a combo thing going there, but like I care. All right. So first things first is our range. With your ranged weapon, if you just tap your range, as you see, you're spitting... I don't know what the hell this is. I guess this is just weird. I don't really know how to even explain this. So now we're going to hold our melee button and we're going to see Woo Yow. That's right. How awesome is that? Nice little 143 crit. I like that. So, oop. all right. So holding the melee button one time does a nice little, uh, does the sidearm throw. It hits the target twice, so keep that in mind. It does hit the target twice. Now that's the first range. Your second range, holding the holding your range button twice, sidearm throw, then overhand sidearm throw. All right, so let's take a look at that. We get hit two, and then hit once. So there's your three. There's three hits, and now we're going to go into the hold your three buttons, sidearm, overhand, and then a heavy. Alright, so you're getting hit three times. Or, I'm sorry, four times, I mean. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this. This is the sidearm throw. And here's the heavy. People are a little miffed because the animation feels the same. According to Meps on the forums, it's... Uh, he wanted a little bit more clarification. And the animation is supposed to show a little heavier. Like you're going reaching back a little further. And... I feel that's not the case. I'm look. I watch the animation, and it feels the same. The animation for that, I feel, is aesthetics. It's not something I'm really like pressuring that needs to be fixed. I feel that it can be wait in due time. That's just an animation thing, all right. That's how people want to feel, and I get how people want the animation. But me personally, I'm perfectly fine now. I've gotten over that pretty quickly. So now let's go into the spinning backhand for me these are the melee weapons, alright? Melee attacks. Right? Spinning backhand. Look at that. We're just gonna go. I'm just gonna go actually go out as ranged as possible. Let's see about this lunging. Ooh, no, I want that one. I want that little guy over there. Wham! And that's a spinning backhand, alright? Now that's your melee, that's your lunge. All right. Now remember, all your melee abilities interrupt, and all of your ranged abilities are the block breakers. That I'm just throwing that out there for everyone to know. So now we're gonna try the leaping stab and spinning up slash. That is, you tap the melee once and then hold, and then hold the melee. So you're just gonna tap and then hold. All right. So that was pretty fun. Not really, but yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this and. I'm going to go with the spinning backhand. Spinning backhand. Oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty weird. So, actually, I don't even know what that combination was. Let me actually just try the combinations just tapping, alright? This is what it looks like just tapping. Uh, if I can... Alright, so we're just going to go with that. Wow, just look... How many was that? I'm actually going to count this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so you're looking at 8 melee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so you're looking at 8 melee hits being just the normal stuff. That's actually, I mean, it, it, it brings into a lot of, it brings into a lot of the shield and punching and kicking stuff so it's not like the shield's your only weapon you have feet and punches too 
Now, if people were complaining, or actually, I'll talk about that a little later. Let me finish up all this stuff. I'm going to do that again. I want to do that spinning backhand. What I did there was a spinning backhand melee, and then I held the melee for this nice little ground punch. Let's continue on with what my list is for the actual uh, weapon tree skill. And that is the spinning downward cross. Tap three times, hold, and then hold. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, three, hold. So that's a nice little overhand downward spiral there. So let's see what the damage looks like. Hmm, pretty standard. Uh, next, we'll do the overhead plate smash, which is tap four, hold. So we're going to one, two, three, four, hold. Ha! Look at that. That was cool. I'm going to do that again. It's going to smack you with my shield. Just smack. It's like, get down. Get down again. All right. We got the shield uppercut. Tap five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. All right. Let's try that on a training dummy. Got one, two, three, four, five, hold. Nice little 617 crit with that. That was nice. Then we have the one beside it, which is going to be Devastating Kicks. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, Devastating Kicks is the next one down. And this actually has two different combos. You can either tap six or tap seven and then hold. Oh, um, man, I hate really counting two. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. I'm going to angle that a little differently. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold. That was the nice little back kick I mentioned on the podcast. That was awesome. Uh, let's try the seven tap and then hold, all right? So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Oh, that was cool. So your devastating kicks is either going to be you pretty much do a nice little cool backflip and hit the shield to hit the opponent, or you're just going to maybe do a kip up. Would that really be considered a kip up? Not really sure. I'm just gonna try it again. Uh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Oh, messed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. There we go. And I don't see that being a kip up. Uh, pretty much knocking a person into the air. Uh, I could actually read it a little bit and find out. Let me actually go back in and we can read upon that because I'm not really sure. Let's see. Let's actually go through a little bit. Speeding back him. Air rubs and deflects range attacks like normal. Suit knocks down and when supercharged is maximum. Grand sleeping stab and spinning up slash that will knock down or punch your opponent to the air. So there's a juggle. Delivers a quick downward smash to knock down. Delivers a hefty downward smash to stun your opponent. Bashes an enemy into the air with a melee attack. There's a juggle. And then grants a two-footed slam and handspring kick that will stun or knock down your target. Huh. Alright, so... That is really it. So we have a couple of juggles, of course. And then the handspring kick apparently will stun or knock down your opponent. So uh, apparently that's going to be an either-or. But I don't really have any other shield styles, and I do apologize. This is the only two I've really been able to get a hold of. So, let's actually go with this. Phil on the DCO, so, uh, sh on the DCO show podcast mentioned, that Jens mentioned that it was supposed to be like a fluid combo. Where, just like hard light is, you can rope in other combos with each other. So, I'm going to try and rope in multiple combos with each other. So, let's see. Let's try the tap and hold and then go into a tap three hold. Let's go with a tap hold. All right. Actually, let me reset that, com that combo hit real fast because I want to see myself hit these people. So, we're just going to go tap hold. All right. So, we're seeing... Wow. So, I'm just going to try multiple things so if the stupid restart uh, test on me wouldn't reset like that I'd be fine yeah see my combo is not even showing up now stupid Duh. I'm gonna go to you then leaping 
Yeah. There we go. So it seems to be pretty fluid in my eyes. Now I use a bow, so the bow for me, I can actually, I can actually, well, I can't switch to it because I don't have enough points in it for everything. So I'm gonna have to say that using the shield with the flowing that Jens was talking, or Jens was talking about, I'm gonna have to test with it a little bit more, especially in a fight scenario because the, spar uh, the sparring targets are resetting the combo for me, which that's how they're designed, I guess, but it really nicks things when I'm trying to test things like this. So, maybe if that was not supposed to happen, I don't know. But, this was the shield weapon. That's right, smack you one more time. Just to get a nice little stance like that. That's all I wanted. <laughs> uh, that is the shield weapon. Thank you all so much. Uh, and again, if you want to see a video on each individual weapon, leave a comment in the section below saying that you, that you would like to see it or don't want to see it. It's just so I can have some feedback whether or not I want to do one long video on the weapons or just do individual weapon videos. I think the individuals I can probably do a little... I can... What the heck? D do you guys see this? My target wasn't moving like that. What? What? Wait a minute. Hold on here. My target wasn't getting knocked down. I'm sorry, is my target broken? I mean, look at this dude. He is just... Okay, there it goes. I'm sorry, do, do I just suck at this, apparently? I feel like I just must suck at this, because that was... That's not cool. It didn't move like that for me, but... Alright, anyways... Leave a comment section below if you want to see weapon videos. Again, thanks to Straight Basement Productions for the intros and outros. They are going to be—they are just amazing, and more of them will be coming. And I'm going to have to sooner or later pick an actual final version of which intro outro will be the official ones, because he's sending me a lot and a lot and a lot, uh, and I thank him for his hard work. But I'll probably have a video on displaying all of them and I'm gonna let you guys decide which one it is but I'm all, I'm gonna keep them all and ah, man, it's just, I think it's gonna be awesome but thank you all so much for watching take care and I will see you guys next time for some arena PvP